Hey, I wanted to show everybody how to submit and then view comments um, in a submission. So um, here we're going to share screen. Um, I see, first of all, that I've got um, an up, some uh, upcoming assignments to do here uh, in the class. Um, as a here, uh, I've got overdue assignments as well and upcoming assignments. So here, I'll click on my upcoming assignment. Uh, go submit the assignment, browse, um, find um, where I'm going to find my uh, assignment. Let's just say that's my assignment. Um, this assignment is my original work. It's the syllabus for the class, but um, yep. So um, now I get confetti. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to leave student view, give everybody a behind the scenes view of what the um, instructor's view looks like here. So for the instructor's view, test student has submitted something. And as the instructor, I can put in comments here and say interesting, um, or I can highlight something and say, um, who is this? Um, more detail needed. And then I can also make general comments. Um, overall good, um, some changes um, uh, for full credit. And so maybe this uh, student gets like a 55 out of 60. Um, and so instructor side, submit the comments, submit everything. Then um, go back to Canvas. Um, and then back into the course. And now let's see what that looks like from the student's view here. So back to the student view. Now I've got, um, I've got something that's been graded so I can go see what happened. So I click over here, grades. This is how you find the, the, the assignment. If you, if you don't do this, you will only see some comments. So you have to go to grades. Then what did I get graded? All right, so um, what I got graded was my final report. That's my graded thing that I haven't yet looked at. So let's take a look and see what happened on my final report. So here I can see the general comment here, but I also want to see the specific feedback. So I have to click here on view feedback. And then I can see here where the, prof oh, okay, the professor thought that part was interesting. Oh, they highlighted this. They had no idea who Albert Einstein is. Okay, um, they said I need more detail in this part. All right, cool, now I know that. Um, and so that is where I can see those specific inline comments that the professor has done. Um, as always, please let me know if you have any questions or challenges viewing that feedback. Um, one other thing I wanted to show actually is um, 30 minutes later, you can come back and view um, if the assignment is a turned in assignment, you can review what's called a similarity report. So again, you'll have the same interface once you've gone to grades. Again, you need to go to grades. There's no other way to get there. But once you've gotten to this stage, you could view the feedback from the instructor here, or there's now a little similarity report. And so I click on that. And then I need to agree to, you know, see, turn it in. Um, and then this gives me a little, a couple of different pieces of information. I don't want to take a tour of turn it in. Thank you. Um, so the, the most relevant, if you're looking for whether or not this has any sort of plagiarism in it, this is similar to what the instructor would see as well, if they're using turn it in, is um, it has overall 71%, which usually would be considered a pretty high amount um, is um, a has been copied. Um, so um, and so and then you can also see where these things have come from. So um, this is um, these quotes are all showing up because in the past I have submitted at some point to Carnegie Mellon. I was a student and I submitted a version of this syllabus previously. Um, and that is um, being pulled out as matching or very similar to a syllabus that I submitted previously. Um, so, um, you know, 
considering that it matches something I submitted previously, that's maybe not quite as bad as if I copied it from like, you know, some other syllabus somewhere else. Um, also, there are some other things that have been copied. So um, this blurb here um, is something that is um, adopted from um, a, an internet source um, about um, CMU cutter based uh, um, health and wellness uh, uh, um, and so on. Um, uh, there's also um, another source here for various other things. Um, apparently something, um, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, so I guess this wasn't entirely my, um, uh, so, so um, there, oh wait, I don't know. I wonder, did I, was this from my article submitted to this? I don't know. Um, anyway, um, I, I might have submitted a version of this to a research article as well. And so they're detecting this out um, and so on. So anyway, the point of this is that you can view um, what's going on now, you know, depending on how the Turnitin settings are set. Um, if we go back to the, um, to the main view here, um, occasionally um, it will, um, let's see, occasionally it will also pull up um, tiny little bits, like apparently anxiety disorders, those two words have been flagged as coming from some psychiatric webpage, um, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, the word and apparently is, and so some of those are not such concerning things. Um, for this, um, though um, you should be very well aware before you submit of what the instructor's expectations are. And if you have concerns, of course, talk with the instructor. Um, so yeah, anyway, that was the last little bit of what you can do. Um, if the instructors enable turn it in, then that would be how you would view that. But again, the critical thing is to go to grades on Canvas, not going to the assignment. And if you go to the assignment, you don't see all that feedback. You only see the general comments. You wanna see the specific comments, you have to go into that grades interface that I showed earlier. 